There's much to do before we depart. Our orders? Relocate to the south side of the wall and travel light. No need to take much equipment with us. So the tools and surplus equipment need to be properly disposed of and concealed in pits. Even some horses will need to be destroyed. Slaves will take care of that task. Alia Yagda Est, the die is indeed cast, and by the hand of the Emperor Commodus himself. <laughs> Travesty of a Caesar. He could never live up to the glorious achievements of his father, Marcus Aurelius. And what actual gains has the Roman army made in a hundred years of fighting over this bitter country called Caldonia? A cynic, may I reply. The loss of who knows how many legionnaires. The best efforts of Agricola, Antoninus, and Marcus Aurelius wasted. Failure to subjugate these barbarians in their rebellious country, whichever way it's presented, this garrison is being told to retreat. Is a soldier's honor and loyalty not worth more than the value of the cost of corn and cattle and grain? Granted. Cohorts of cavalry and infantry, such as constitutes the 20th Legion, need constant supplies of food and cattle and tools and weapons. And it all costs money. But retreat. Retreat from what? Valley mists harboring native spirits and shadowy figures in the woods? <laughs> Little wonder my men are so dispirited and spend day and night drinking and gambling away their pay. A Roman fort is like a market town on feast day. All kinds of chances and dealers and spies are attracted to it. You can get anything in return for bartering with cunning scum who would as much as clean the bodies of my men dead on their final battlefield. Well, today, this lassitude stops. Now. I will set the men to work with the beat of my vetus. Reaffirm discipline and order. If we are to retreat, then we will do it in Roman fashion. With dignity and honor. In other words, we'll make it look like we are not beaten. But we are withdrawing of our own volition. Certainly not because of the guerrilla tactics of the local savages. You could draw the northern line of the empire at Hadrian's Wall with less expense and less manpower. And why should Rome defend and protect this piece of land with little for return? And yet, I do not like the concept of retreat. It sounds weak. I am a soldier with ambition. And ambition is not served well by taking a backward step. I will survive this black mark against my name. I will regain my position and my reputation. In the name of Jupiter, I will. But what 
to do with the slaves and the prisoners. And of them all, it's the female that troubles me most. A very small, delicate woman with a beautiful face. Never have I seen such beauty. How could an ugly brute of a father produce such a beautiful, winsome creature? The men are equally taken with her, what with her storytelling and prophecies. She is young and... But I've made my decision. She and her father must die. They know too much. I'm leaving nothing to the value of the enemy. No horses, no weaponry, no tools, cooking stoves or pottery. I don't like desecration for profanity's sake. I am essentially a religious, pious man. Okay. Okay. I'm highly superstitious. Witness my inscribed altar stone to Apollo. I will give sacrifice its due ceremony. Bury them both with dignity and honor. The sacrifice shall appease our gods and send a message to the insurgents that Rome is still a force to be reckoned with. To assuage my guilt, I presented the girl with a necklace. She will word it around her neck. The other prisoners are of no consequence. I've ordered them to be beheaded and buried in the pit. Quick and efficient. The horses we can't take with us are of good stock. Yet my men are upset at their slaughter. And it makes sense. We can leave nothing to the enemy. Like us, they are excellent horsemen and charioteers. <laughs> this wine is good. I'm becoming too fond of it in my northern sojourn. It makes me nostalgic for my home. Gaul. Long, sun-warm days are all too infrequent in Caledonia. If only this vile country was more bearable! But this is my vocation, and I must abide with it. I wonder where they will post me next. Please let it be somewhere warm. Somewhere where the amphitheater and the mancio and the baths are not the only sign of civilization. Where philosophers and ideas are discussed. Seneca, Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius, who knows? Perhaps I will find my way back to Gaul. What about Rome itself? Omnis via Romum decunt. All roads lead to Rome. <laughs> I am a Roman citizen. I can see myself in the Senate. <laughs> Perhaps not. A soldier is a soldier, not a politician. I can't imagine I'd last very long to be surrounded by those backstabbing vipers in Rome. And what will become of us all in this frivolous age of Commodus? Commodus the gladiator indeed. He will be the ruination of us all. <laughs> Hail Caesar. Time to whip the men into shape. <laughs> I came, I saw, I conquered. 
I left quietly, almost unseen.